the Kansas City Chiefs have made a bold move that could change everything for their offense. Don't miss out on what this could mean for the team's future. Hit that subscribe button on KC Chiefs News Portal now and stay ahead of the game. Welcome to KC Chiefs News Portal. Today, we've got some big news that could flip the Kansas City Chiefs season upside down. The Chiefs are 9-0, still holding on to that perfect record. But let's not get too carried away, because beneath the surface, there are some serious cracks. Yes, they've been winning, but their offense hasn't looked as explosive as it once did. Despite the perfect record, there's something missing. Let's break it down. The Chiefs offense, which has been a powerhouse in the past, is struggling in 2024. First, the wide receiver room isn't what it used to be. Sure, Patrick Mahomes is still doing his magic, but he's been forced to rely on fewer weapons, especially after Tyreek Hill's departure. Travis Kelsey remains a reliable target, but even he's faced more challenges this season. The run game? It's been a disaster. The Chiefs were expecting big things from their young back, Isaiah Pacheco, but he got sidelined with an injury. In his place, the team turned to Kareem Hunt, but that hasn't worked out. Hunt's performance has been disappointing, averaging just 3.3 yards per carry over six games. The Chiefs need a running back who can grind up the tough yards and keep defenses honest. But here's where things take a turn. Isaiah Pacheco is back. He's been activated after spending time on injured reserve, and let me tell you, this is the kind of spark the Chiefs offense desperately needs. Pacheco's tough, downhill running style is exactly what the team has been missing. He's not going to make this offense perfect overnight, but he can get the tough yards and open up opportunities for Mahomes and the passing game. Now, Pacheco's return is huge, but that's not all. There's another move coming that could change the entire game for the Chiefs. That move is the potential addition of DeAndre Hopkins. Imagine the explosive duo of Hopkins and Mahomes. This isn't just a luxury, this is exactly what the Chiefs need to take their offense to the next level. Hopkins can stretch the field, make incredible catches, and keep defenses on their toes. His presence would give Mahomes another weapon to work with and make this offense even more dangerous. So, what does this mean for the Chiefs? With Pacheco back, they can finally establish a balanced offense that isn't just relying on the pass. The addition of Hopkins would add the explosive playmaking ability the team has been missing. The Chiefs offense might not be perfect yet, but with these moves, they're on the way to being as dangerous as ever. Alright, Chiefs fans, now that we've gone over the latest news about Pacheco's return and the potential signing of DeAndre Hopkins, let's talk about what this means for our team moving forward. We're sitting at 9-0 right now, but let's be honest with each other, we've seen that while we're winning, things haven't been as easy as we hoped. The offense, while still dangerous, has been a bit of a roller coaster. Patrick Mahomes has had to work some serious magic this season, and while he's the best quarterback in the league, even he can't do everything by himself. The wide receiver room has been a bit thin since Tyreek Hill left, and it's been noticeable. Sure, Travis Kelsey is still Kelsey, but we all know Mahomes thrives with a wide range of weapons at his disposal. Now, when we look at the run game, that's where things really hit home. We've all seen how inconsistent it's been. With Isaiah Pacheco injured for a while and Kareem Hunt not quite fitting in as we expected, it's been tough to get anything going on the ground. But now, with Pacheco back in the fold, there's a real sense of relief. Pacheco's style of running, with his ability to break tackles and keep moving forward, is something we've been sorely lacking. His return is a game-changer for the Chiefs offense, and it's going to make a huge difference in how defenses approach us. They won't be able to focus solely on the pass anymore. And then, there's DeAndre Hopkins. If the Chiefs can pull this off, it's an absolute game-changer. Imagine the combination of Hopkins, Kelsey, and Mahomes, it would be almost impossible for defenses to shut down all of those threats. Hopkins is a proven playmaker, a guy who can make those big catches when it matters most. His addition would be the missing piece that makes this offense even more explosive. We know how dangerous Mahomes is with weapons around him, and Hopkins would elevate that to another level. So, looking at this, it's clear that the Chiefs are on the right path. 
The offense isn't quite perfect, but with Pacheco coming back and the potential of adding Hopkins, the pieces are falling into place. This team has all the tools to go on a deep playoff run, and I wouldn't be surprised to see them dominating the field in the coming weeks. There's still work to be done, but the future is looking bright. As fans, we've been through a lot together, and we know what this team is capable of. It's time for the Chiefs to start clicking on all cylinders and really show the NFL what we're made of. If these moves work out as expected, we could be looking at an offense that's more dangerous than ever. We've seen flashes of greatness, and now it's time to put it all together. What do you think, Chiefs fans? Are you excited about Pacheco's return and the possibility of adding Hopkins? Do you think this team can take things to the next level and win the big one this season? Let's talk about it in the comments below. This is our time, and it's going to be one heck of a ride. What do you think about Pacheco's return and the potential addition of Hopkins? Do you think these moves can help the Chiefs get back to their dominant ways? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date with all things Kansas City Chiefs.